What's up everybody, this is Jonathan Limes and today I'm going to show you a computer I finished maybe three weeks ago, around there. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to make it boring and as long as other people do. Because I try, this is my second video I do, try to do it and the first one it was like 40 minutes and I'm not about to load upload a video that is 40 minutes so I'm gonna do it as fast as I can and yeah so for you to communicate with the computer this is the keyboard right here it's from number 0 to 7 yeah 7 and from A to F as you can see right now, if you type anything, nothing goes to the monitor or the screen. And it's because each computer has, well, it should have a computer, I mean, a password to log in. So this is where this thing right here comes, comes along. And the glass is just to let you know that the folder where the password is located is encrypted and has a fire firewall so yeah I already put the password in it's right here password is AL27D58 that let's say we miss one letter press enter go back and we try to type the number zero. Nothing happens. Wait, 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 let me turn it off. And it's because you're missing one letter in your password. Which was, which one was it? Uh, L? Yeah, L. So we press it, and you see, it says correct password. It says my name right there. So if we go back and we type zero again. It's supposed to go there you go, you see. And there you go. It displays the number zero. And I'm not about to show you all the numbers and the letters because it's gonna take forever. So I'm just gonna show you the top side, the, the, the above, the, the top key. Yeah. I don't know if I should make this so you can download the world, so you can mess around with the computer. And if you do, well, if I do, I'm going to make you be in survival. You're not be, you're not going to be flying around. So this is the way to get up. There you go. It's like elevator or something. Yeah. So let's just leave it on three. So what makes this a computer? Well, a lot of um, a lot of things it has that every computer has has a login a login um, folder that is encrypted has a keyboard which you can use commands and you can type on it has a some sucky as motherboard I mean motherboard I'm um, some monitor that is little but still it makes it gets the, the job done uh, this is the HDMI cable this thing this is the reason why it takes forever for you to see what it displays and this is the inputs the this is the inputs of the the interface of the HDMI cable and it's the input to a video card and this is the the black wool. It's a video card. 
and this is the gold thing and then the video car is connected to the motherboard but it's not the motherboard this is most like it's more like uh, the interpreter of the computer each operating system has its own interpreter so it can it, the computer can communicate from a high language which is the the language the human being speaks like a b c one two three and the interpreter is what it it gets the language and creates it to be the binary code which the computer understands like zero one one zero one zero so there's one right here another one and another one right here there's no hard drive in this so you can can try to put this as a hard drive oh no it's just wire and the the commands come here it goes to an interpreter and it goes to the the CPU the processor that's why you see the little golden thing right here and the gray wall is all the processor is the CPU and that's really how it looks in when you see it in a microscope you see a bunch of capacit no not capacitors you see a bunch of um, resistors transistors and integrator circuits into a CPU that's the job here this up uh, those inputs are empty and we have a longer one right here right there and you see everything right here and also this computer can send um, signals like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, whichever you wanna wanna say it is but since communications through electromagnetic signals like the computer communicates to these two faces right here and this is computer B and as you can see no wire it's right here let me put a rest on so you can see you see nothing and there's no way you can that thing could go up two blocks up or well, three blocks up and it goes to here to this little computer thing and I put water just to let you know there's no connection to it and we go to this one it's the same thing it's in the air you see but I saw it Oh, it's just a shadow. Yeah, it's not even on. Sees me in there. So yeah, let's. What? Well, let me take you all the way up. And it's into next to the anonymous face. <laughs> there you go. You see, it looks beautiful. Alright, let's get to the command because I don't want to make this too long. Alright, the first command I want to start from something simple all the way to big. So the first command is weather rain. I press it and it should make it rainy. You see? But since I hate rain, I never liked it on Minecraft. Did another one that says weather clear, which it takes the weather out. There we go. And then set time to zero, make it daytime, then time 14,000, which is night, 
and then say hello computer tells me hello and you can see right there hello how are you says my name and then virus scan alright so let's say I'm a, a virus in the computer and I'm destroying the blocks and everything I press the virus scan first and then it takes all my tools so I could bl um, that things I could break but since I'm in creative I still can break blocks if I want with my hand because since I'm in creative let's use the elevator so that's how the virus scan 2 comes along which it makes you not only ah damn hold up you got a block alright let me get a block so fire scan 2 it makes it it makes you turn into survival and you cannot break no blocks which is pretty cool and what else I forgot what was the virus scan 3 hmm virus deleted oh yeah this is supposed to um, kill me but I, s I put it as no so it doesn't kill me because I don't wanna spawn again and come back so I took it out right now but it's supposed to supposedly it's supposed to kill you and the other thing it does it teleports you there it teleports me to this village right here which is pretty nice so you can have a computer and teleport. Well, you don't need the computer, but yeah. Just making it cool. And then the little... Well, let me go back. Teleport. Again. There you go. So there's a little box. Tele teleports you to the back where you were. There you go. So the other thing is data sent to A computer A supposed to be that one and that one's B but I don't know which one is gonna get it first so we press it and let's wait until one of those gets it and I will say right there which one gets it first if computer A or computer B oh computer A and it says right there computer B cut data and how come A didn't tell me hmm. but yeah that's how you send computer sense data to to computer B computer A but as you saw computer A got it first but didn't didn't tell me I don't know why there you go and let's just stop sending data and this one I haven't got the three three buttons that don't do nothing so yeah that's it um, I was gonna make the monitor or the screen way bigger because I seen a lot of people that do computers they have a big screen and they make it do a pentagon mario and all that but no i decided to focus on command better than letters and numbers because a lot of people get boring just watching um watching people just type one two three or words people are more excited when they watch 
something more cool like a video or something but then again um, the computer was gonna be way bigger and the reason why this one takes forever because too much um, transistors well not trans well that's how they work as transistors but they most they they call um, what was it called oh, repeaters I've been playing Minecraft for a long time. They call repeaters over here. Too much repeaters um, together. Well, not together, but wait. Don't like rain. I'm gonna use my my computer to set it off. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this is the reason why it takes forever to so you can see what it displays. So yeah, I was gonna do it bigger, but no. Nah. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna end up the video here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you like it. If you have any questions on how I, uh, not I didn't. Well, well. Sorry, I started right there. If you have any video, any videos, what the hell? A any questions of how I did the computer? Not the whole thing. Cause I'm about to do a tutorial how to do a big computer. But sim just um the comments any comments you you want to learn about just let me know leave a comment or send me a private message or saying hey Jonathan can you please do a tutorial how to teleport or how to um had to make the weather change or the time or anything you're interested on in, what you saw in this video just let me know and I'll upload it as soon as possible or how I did this my awesome elevator <laughs> I don't like using pistons that's elevator they make too much noise too hard too many work so yeah so yeah this is it I don't want to talk more so yeah thanks for watching hope you have a great time appreciate your time on watching my video please like or even comment or just view it that that's enough for me I, you don't have to do more than than that I just like when people watch my videos you don't have to like it or comment just you know but don't be shy just leave a comment if if you have any questions on this and let me stand by my anonymous face right here so I can say bye get the repeater out of here and let's wait the other one there you go so yeah thanks for watching this is Jonathan Limits and I hope you have a great time and laters